Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here and in this video I'm going to be guiding you on how to install Unreal Engine for the editor in Ubuntu. Now I'm doing this on Ubuntu 15.04 but this should work for 14.04 and above. So I'm just going to preface this by saying that I'm going to be skipping on how to set up the GitHub and Unreal account making. There is a link in the description down below if you need to know how to do that. This is what Unreal Engine for the editor will look like after you've gotten it set up at the end of this video. So there's going to be many ways to do this. This is just how I do it. So first up, I'm going to open up a browser. All right. I'm going to type in Unreal Engine 4 GitHub. All right. I'm going to take the third link down from below here. If you haven't linked your GitHub account to your Unreal account, then this page will not show. All right. As you can see, it's private. So I go ahead and click the Unreal Engine uh, link there. And what I want is this on the bottom right, the download zip. Once you've downloaded it, it will appear in the bottom part here. You want to drag this, uh, you want to extract this to your desktop for the easiest way to go about this. So you're going to want to extract it to your desktop. All right, now that that's done, we can go ahead and close this and we can also go ahead and minimize the browser. We don't really need that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. And now we're going to install the dependencies. Now they're a lot, they're very long, so you might as well go ahead and copy them from the description of this video. So after you've gone ahead and pasted the long line of dependencies, you just want to go ahead and click enter and then type in your password. All right. Typing in my password. I think I'm screwing up each time. All right. There we go. Now let this download and install. This can take quite a while, but I already have everything installed, so I don't need to go through that process once again. So since we're done there, I'm just going to type clear. Now I'm going to change the desktop name for this folder to just Unreal Engine to simplify things. All right. Now I'm going to CD into that folder. I'm just going to drag it into the terminal. I'm going to hit enter. Now once we're in here, we're going to run the setup. So I'm going to type a dot dash setup.sh notice that the s is capitalized I'm gonna hit enter this can take a while alright so we're done running setup.sh now it's time to do the heavy loading which is the generate project files alright see if I get this correct so da dot dash generate project files dot sh notice that the G P and F are all capital Go ahead, hit enter. Now this is a very heavy part of the development build. You may have to switch off all other applications while having this run. Please make sure you have more than 8 gigs of memory when you're doing this. Alright, now that we've generated the project files, let's go ahead and type make. Uh, refocus on that. Type make slate viewer. Alright, notice that the S and the V are capital. Let's hit enter. So it's only going to get heavier from here on out till the end. Now that that's done, let's move on to the last and heaviest part of all. We're going to be making all the uh, editors here. So type in make shader compile worker unreal light mass unreal pack and UE4 editor. Make sure that all the, the letters that need to be capital are capital. It's very important. So go ahead and hit enter. Now make sure every other application you have is opened up that can take up a lot of RAM. This part takes up an insane lot, but at the end of this, we should have a working executable. All right, so we're actually done with all the compiling and building, and it looks like it's successfully finished itself. So let's go ahead and close this terminal. So now we should be able to run the editor. I'm going to open up the folder. I'm going to go into the engine folder. I'm going to go into the binaries folder. I'm going to go into the Linux folder. And I'm going to scroll down to the UE4 editor right here. So all you should need to do is double click it. Let me just make sure first that it is allowed to run. Yes, it is. So I'm going to double click it. So opening for the first time can take a while. It may take you a minute or two before you see anything on the screen. And that first thing you see will be a splash screen, which will then continue to take, I think, another minute or two before it starts compiling shaders, which will take about 20 minutes. There we go, we see the splash screen startup right here. 
So this video is showing you how to do it for 4.7.2 version of the Unreal Editor. This may change in the future. You may not even have to do this in the future. Hopefully so. So it's finally gone ahead and opened up. As you can see in the bottom right, it is now compiling shaders. This can take uh, about 20 minutes, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how powerful your system is. It does take about 20 minutes for me. Alright, so we finally finished compiling the shaders for the first time. It only takes a very long time for the first time, so do expect that. You will notice this happens quite often as well after doing the shader compile. So it's freeing up memory as it does that. Alright, let me jump into the project that I've made before this. Alright, so it's finally started up. That did take quite a while. So now you have a working Unreal Engine editor in Ubuntu or any Linux distribution that you are using. So let's see if I can test it out just a little bit. Uh, right, it takes a while to load as you saw just now. It was loading the materials. So let me go ahead and click play. Uh, yes, let's see if I can. I believe I have my own blueprints in this running right now, so it's probably bugged up from that. Let me see if I can go ahead and build lighting. compiling, building lighting. Alright, so I can't seem to get rid of that error just yet. Let's see if I can possess the main character or not. Alright, so I can. Did take a bit of a moment there. Now, there's smoke coming out of the ground there because I've gone ahead and put a fire particle system below the ground. So it's smoking up. So, yeah, pretty much works. Right off the bat, this is the first person blueprint here. Just I'm testing out. I have been trying to do a couple of things with it. Still not too familiar with what's going on most of the time. See, my brazier is there. Let's see if I can just bring up that fire. I just want to see if I can bring it up or not. There it is, under the ground. Let me drag that up. Alright, so I think I managed to pull out the fire. It's inappropriately positioned right now. It's supposed to be on that item. Let's go ahead and click play. Click possess. So that's just an example of some of the fire effects that you can do. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope this video helped you get Unreal Engine up and running. Please note that you do need a high-end system to get this running and a high-end system to start developing on this. The Linux version is not really ready for prime time just yet, but if you can't wait, then hopefully this video can help you get up and running in no time at all. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you in one way or another.